Yo guys, we're back for another episode of our FIFA career mode of FIFA 18 with Paris FC. Starting today's episode off going into a quick training session, getting them stats up on some of the players, and then getting straight into the games today with a game against Stad Bresitos, I believe that is, which... Last time we played them, we did very well against them. We absolutely battered them. This is the team that I actually played but couldn't show the game of that we won 7-1. And I wasn't able to show the game because the foot is corrupted. Which is absolute shit. And I'm glad that it hasn't done it this time. And hopefully we can get the same sort of victory out of them this time. As... Like I said, we was, we've been playing well recently since we've brought in Joel Pereira and made a couple of changes to the side. It's really started playing really well and hopefully we can carry this form on in this match. But straight from kickoff pretty much, they come forward and try and get themselves in the lead and basically set us back on another losing streak as what we was on before but couldn't exactly do that. Moments later, we come forward. Again, trying to get ourselves into the box. And Mayor just puts the ball wide at the post. Unluckily there, he did very well to get the header off. And get himself into that space. But he didn't do very well when he got his head on the ball. He should have done it a hell of a lot better. At least pick out the defender that was on the line and get a corner out of it. But he didn't do that. And it means the scores remain at 0-0. Before we come forward once again... Trying to get ourselves in the box and try and get uh, into an attacking position, which we do. Alame puts the shot straight ac across goal and makes sure that we win the game 1-0. Uh, to put us in the lead at 1-0, shall I say. Not win as the game at this point anyway. But Alame getting into great, uh, a great position there. Playing a nice shot across goal. A calm finish across goal. Into the back of the net to make it 1-0. And Alami has been one of our best players this season. He's been so good. Every time we've played. He's been one of them players that's just brilliantly attacking wise. And at the I can't believe at the beginning of the season. I didn't actually play him in most of the games. And then I found him and he was scoring loads of goals. And he's, doing, he's carrying that on right now. And scoring another one in this game. Before they try and get their self back into this game. They take a shot. But luckily it goes just wide of the post. It means the scores do remain at 1-0. <coughs> he probably should have done better there. To at least get the shot on target. Pereira would have had it covered anyway. As you've seen. But it does mean the scores remain at 1-0. Before we come on our attack of our own here. As you see. We intercept one of their passes. As we come forward with Zidane Farah who takes a shot but it goes just wide of the post. It was a very nice piece of play there from Farah. The Algerian takes it down the wing and smashes it straight across goal. Probably should have done better there. But that's the one thing I've got to improve with Farah is his finishing because it isn't the best. But it, we are still in the lead so I ain't as bothered. As we come down the wing here with St. Luis on another attack. Cut inside. Takes a shot and it does go in the back of the net. To make it 2-0 here. With a brilliant piece of play. And our star man of the season. St. Luis. Bags himself another goal. Honestly he has been our saviour this season. So many times. And he's done exactly that once again. And he's done exactly what he's been doing all season. Which going down that left hand side. Cutting in against the defenders. Taking the defenders pretty much out of the game and finessing it into that far side of the goal to make it 2 0 now. And honestly, at this point, we look like cruising to victory as San Luis and there was leaving the back so open. And that was the end of the game. It did finish 2 0. It was a brilliant game from us. We played very well. To be fair, we didn't create many chances. And the chances we did create weren't the best when we did create some of them. But as you see, we do come away with the victory. And St. Luis only getting one shot off in that game. As you see, that just proves how little the chances we were getting. But when we did get on, we was very clinical with the chances. And it means that we do win the game 2-0. And set ourselves on the way to at least trying to get into them play, uh, pr promotion places once again. And we're really pushing for that right now. 
as you see, we go into another training session. Like I say, try and get them players up and try and get them to them sort of quality that we need them to be if we're going to be at least in the promotion places or whatever it might be. As we come into our second semi-final game of the season from two competitions, we've been at, not a semi-final, shall I say, quarter-finals. It's our second quarter-final of the season and we've had two competitions and we've been in the quarter-final of both of them. And luckily we got knocked out of the quarter-final in the last uh in the last competition but we're coming into this one with full heart being as I don't want to be losing in the quarterfinals of both competitions in one season as we cut, uh, come into this game Balotelli on the ball cuts inside against his man takes a shot and unluckily for him it goes just wide of the post it was a very threatening piece of play there Balotelli cutting and uh, jinking and jiving his way around the defence there but luckily for us the ball goes wide at the post. Before we come on an attack of our own where we steal the ball off the defence in the final third. We get into the box. It's a great piece of passing play. But unluckily for us, the ball goes wide at the post. We should have done better there. Alame, I was praising him in the last game, but he should have done better there. But it does mean the scores remain at 0-0. Before we come on another attack, Norman Hari getting into the box, skipping over the defender's legs there and getting the shot off. And honestly, I was praying that that shot was going in the back of the net. For the fact of that run, how he somehow jumped over and knocked the ball round two defenders that both went in this like a scissor sort of slide tackle at him. And he somehow skipped over the defenders. But we get a corner from this. We take the header and the header gets deflected over the bar. And the corner after that comes to nothing. Before we come on another attack with Mamoon getting in with an absolutely unbelievable run there. Took it nearly half the pitch getting the shot off. But Dante getting his big dangly legs in front of the shot. And making sure that the scores remain at nil nil. But we get a corner from it. We take the corner. And look at that for a header. In the crowd of players. It's Julian Lopez. Probably the shortest one out of all of them. Climbs above the defenders and the midfielders. And headers the ball. Into the back of the net. To make it 1-0. And put us in the lead. In this quarter final. As you see. Look. There's three or four uh, of their players there. That should have been able to get uh, something on that. And it wasn't. It was the shortest man on the pitch. Julian Lopez. Gets his head on it first. And turns it into the back of the net. To make it 1-0 in the quarterfinals. And we was really looking like the more dominant force in this game. But moments later. After we scored that goal. After the second half. They take a shot. And Pierre, uh, Pierre again. Being our saviour to get that save and absolutely brilliant save to get over to his near side and put his arms at full reach to get to that save. And as, uh, as I've said before, nothing came from that corner, luckily for us, as we come and try and extend our lead and put us a firmer grip on uh, this game as we whip the ball in. What a fantastic ball from Levin. Straight onto the head of Nomen Hare. Who puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 2-0 now in this quarter final. And honestly I don't know if we deserve to be winning the game by this amount. But we was really starting to come into our own in this game. We was really putting pressure on uh, OGC Nice. And really putting the pressure on them. To the point we was absolutely... Every time we came on an attack, we was looking like the more dominant force and actually looking like we was about to score, which we do exactly that. And it means we're now 2-0 up in this quarterfinal and looking like we're going through to the semis before Balotelli comes forward and puts the ball luckily for us over the bar. And honestly, in this game, Balotelli was the only man that was causing any threat to us whatsoever. He was the man at the point of the attack. And nothing was happening unless he had a touch on the ball and taken the shot. Nothing was happening. But luckily he didn't put that in the back of the net. But moments later, pretty much from a counter-attack, 
we come up the pitch, we split the defence with a pass and Meyer puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 3-0 and at this point I thought there's no way we're slipping up on this. We've done it before where we've lost the three goal advantage but not uh, through about half an hour's worth of football. There was no way we was doing it in this game. We was looking like the more dominant force at this point and being really clinical with the finishing. And Maya puts it into the back of the net for his second goal in this competition and our third goal of the game, really putting the pressure on OGC Nice. And we come on another attack here with Levin. We try and do the same sort of thing, whip the ball in and it ends in the exact same way as it did with Nomen Hare. Maya puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 4-0. And honestly, if we get into the uh, league uh, and get this kind of performances out of the players in the league, if we get promoted this season, we'll look to be coasting through that season. Because look at the way we've been playing in this match. It was like there was nothing coming from it, but... I thought it was Maya, and I still to this point think it was Maya that got his head on it, but it was classed as an own goal. That means we are 4 0 up. But on the 90th minute, they come forward to try and get a self a cut sort of consolation goal. They whip a shot, but it goes over the bar, and that sort of, sort of sums up their game. It wasn't the best of shots, and when they got the chances, they weren't making the most of it, which they really should have done a hell of a lot better there. As you see, Mario. Not the best pleased with his attacking partners. But we do give the ball away very stupidly. And Balotelli puts the ball in the back of the net. And I really don't know what I was doing there. I sort of passed it out just hoping. Not realising that the uh, attacker was there. And in a way I'm kind of glad. Because Balotelli really deserved the goal in this game. He, he was the only one causing any pressure on us. Really creating everything and doing everything in this game. He deserved that goal. But it does mean the game ends at 4-1. And we are in to the semi-finals of this competition. Which is absolutely unbelievable for us. And we have between San, uh, Paris Saint-Germain, I believe it was, uh, Monaco. And I can't remember the other team. In the semi-finals which we could in fact face and honestly I don't want to play um, I don't want to play Paris Saint-Germain I want to get through the semi-finals and beat them in the final and play them in the final but we'll have to see what we get drawn in the next episode and thank you for watching guys this is the end of today's episode thank you for watching if you like please leave a like subscribe if you're new and peace